Welcome to the Longmont weather forecast for April 25th to 29th, taking you almost to the end of this month. I'm Chief Meteorologist John Ensworth for Longmont Public Media. This week we have the moon coming out of new phase. By Sunday night it's just a little sliver in the southwest sky. It should look really nice with Venus nearby. And the big picture for the weather, well, you got one more chance of rain and then a lot of heat really possibly serious heat, summer heat. Well, we'll get to that. Uh, the big picture is this pattern in the 500 millibar map. This is how high up in the atmosphere you have to go to find about half atmospheric pressure, 500 millibars. Sea level is just over a thousand millibars, space is zero. Um, this big ridge marked by a blue line on the west coast is coming. But before it gets here, we're gonna have this Northwest flow. Now the air is going along these black lines from west to east and out. So Northwest flow is kind of interesting. It uh, can have these little ripples. You can see it barely resolved here in the, you know, all these little wiggles in the map here. And some of these are real troughs. I kind of think that one is. Uh, and this one definitely is. But the other ripples could be there that we don't know about. All these little ripples can create a little period of storminess, bring a little cool air in with it. The overall northwest flow pattern brings us cooler air because the air is coming from a more northern latitude down towards us. In the water vapor satellite, again, this is really dry, sinking air down here across the Gulf of Mexico and out, and moist, some, some of it's rising. Uh, air up across the northern tier of states. We have a little disturbance out here that's visible in some high clouds, some ice, and there's a thunderstorm there. The thunderstorm's off of the east coast in the picture over here. But you can see some of these are real. This, these, some of these ripples, like here, weren't picked up clearly in the 500 millibar map, but they're probably there. You can see them on satellite image. This time of year, you really have to look at other forms of data like a satellite image to try to pick these little features out. But once they move over, you get a little enhancement of uh, convection, uh, lifting uh, motion in the atmosphere, and if there's moisture around, you get some rain. And that's what we'll get, or we're getting on Friday. By Saturday p.m., that ridge is heading in. You can see this big uh, kind of snaky pattern to the ridge, but it's coming in for for Colorado. There's still ripples in the flow, but they won't matter uh, to us as much as one here. I didn't mark one down here, kind of a bigger trough. Looking for Saturday p.m., you can see with the northwest flow still in place, the ridge isn't here yet by Saturday p.m., you can see some showers being picked up by the model happening uh, over northeastern Colorado. We're camping in the front yard again, so we'll have to keep an eye on that and either go into the camper or into the house. So, fun. all right, let's take a look at the next 10 days, and then we're going to look at animation of um, the upper air pattern over the next 10 days. And we'll look at how really amazingly above normal the temperatures are going to be over the next 10 days. Uh, so Friday and Saturday morning are probably gone by the time you watch this. These are showers that we had on Friday. <coughs> I'm recording just before the uh, uh, stuff is forming on Friday, we should have gotten about a tenth to maybe a quarter inch of, of water uh, Friday afternoon and again overnight Friday into Saturday morning. But uh, with the Northwest flow, the temperatures will still be kind of cool and then the warm up starts. What I've marked in red here is the normal high temperature and blue, the normal low temperature. The normal, normal low temperature is approaching freezing now, so we are definitely moving uh, through spring. And you can see the nighttime temperatures are just ignoring <laughs> the normal low temperature. It's above freezing and uh, pretty fantastically warm. By Thursday, Friday, we see some really serious uh, uh, heat over here. That's the showers for Friday, Saturday. We see a cool down next weekend and a little chance of showery stuff. Doesn't look really organized at this point. I'm not going to get too excited yet, but we'll keep an eye on it through the week. All right, here comes the animation. Take a look at this ridge. So we're on Sunday, 
and we're heading through Sunday into Monday. You can see how it expands to the east. Lots of abnormally high heights. So the pinks and uh, reds are, are heights above normal. So just this giant ridge by Thursday. And then the loop starts over again. You can see there's a trough out in the east heading out. That's what created the severe weather in southeast uh, over the weekend. And then that's moving off the east coast. A little blob coming down Wednesday into Thursday. That's when our ridge really gets going. Let's take a look at the temperature anomalies. This is surface temperatures, and this is how far above or below, above reds, below purples and blues, uh, normal they are. And you can see the west is just baking. This is Tuesday. Here's Wednesday, about now as a little cool air passes in. And this, oh, same emission didn't go all the way to Thursday. I'm sorry. Really gets hot then. So I'll let that play through one more time. Lots of abnormally warm temperatures, day and night. So putting it all together here from Saturday into Sunday, we're beginning to warm up, a little chance of showers because uh, of the northwest flow. And then we just dry out with a ridge coming in, sinking air over the state. We probably break 80 for the first time Monday. Little cool down with a little passing ripple through the ridge on Tuesday and then we head for 80s, upper 80s, maybe even 90 Friday. So the same week we may hit our first 80 plus and our first 90 plus. That little chance of showers coming in. Wouldn't be surprised if some of this is just daytime heating afternoon thunderstorms. So this would be more of a summer-like pattern. For our more frequent weather updates and news around Longmont, take a look at Longmont Observer at longmontobserver.org. Uh, take a look on there also for the article talking about changes coming to the Longmont Observer. It will get a new name and become a little different uh, in the next month or so. So uh, go over there, check that out. This has been Chief Meteorologist John Ensworth. Your weather forecast for Longmont. Keep looking up.